Welcome to another episode of the Video Freak Show. I am your host, Freakmaster Roth. Uh, week number three. I have some very, very interesting subjects to go over. And uh, I think this is going to be a really good episode. First, I want to talk about Arnold Schwarzenegger, the, the governor, or the Terminator, or whatever you want to call him. Um, came out that the man had a love child 10 years ago with someone that wasn't his wife. If you haven't seen what this woman looks like, this is what she looks like right here. What the fuck? He... He had relations with this. When he had this at home. I mean, it's not, I mean, what he's got at home is not a major improvement, I mean, but, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maria Shriver uh, is, is a beautiful woman. But what, what was the man on to fuck this? Just, wow. 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 I'm recording this video. Uh, it is Thursday night, Friday morning. Uh, officially, it is uh, the 20th of May at uh, 2.46 in the morning. Um, so this next bit here is dated. So if you watch this after this, hopefully you will. And you'll see why I say hopefully in a minute. I, I don't know if any of you seen that. I saw one here in uh, Columbus, a billboard saying basically uh, Jesus is coming on May 21st, 2011. Okay. Uh, something that a lot of you don't know about me is I've studied the Bible. I mean, I know more than, than most church people pastors know. The end of the world uh, is supposed to be Saturday, May 21st, 2011. Um, because Jesus is coming in and it says the world's going to end. If you go to their website, familyradio.com, um, the evangelist Harold Camping uh, claims that the end of the world comes on May 21st, 2011. But if you do some research into all that, what Harold Camping says, he actually says that May 21st, 2011 is when we're going to meet Jesus in the sky. Uh, the actual end of the world won't happen until October 21st, 2011. But what I found interesting is after I did more research and more research, this same person, Harold Camping, this evangelist, uh, actually previously claimed that the world would end between September 15th and September 27th of 1994. Let's take a look at a couple other instances when the world was supposed to end. Y2K. January 1st, 2000. The world did not end. How about this date? April 19th, 2011 when Skynet became self-aware. Or we can wait until December 21st, 2012 to see if the Mayans got it right. Just saying. Uh, this has to do with uh, Freak Mama Roth and myself. So with that being said, I want to talk about this ticket right here. This is a bill of sale. Um, and, and I won't say the name of the company, 
Uh, but let's just say that they uh, that they sell uh, water beds and some other stuff. So at this place that sells water beds and and some other stuff. So here's the situation. Freak Mama Roth needed a new bed. Took her to this place that sold water beds and uh, some other stuff. And um, we were looking at their different beds that they had there. Now, this particular bed was normally $2,000. That's simply the box springs or platform and, uh, and the mattress itself. A memory foam type of mattress. Now, normally this bed cost two thousand dollars. Had their price at a thousand dollars. And then this, the week that we went in, all beds were fifty percent off. So we got the bed for five hundred dollars. Not too bad for a bed that normally cost two thousand dollars. Now, now this bed comes in a box about a foot and a half by a foot and a half by two and a half feet. Um, and that's the whole mattress. And it's because it is a foam material. They, it's done in a clean room uh, where they make these. And so once it's done, they shrink it down, vacuum, vacuum seal it so it's pretty small, and put it in this box and ship it out. And then when they brought it here, they cut the bag, exploded open, you know. Um, well, these types of beds take hours and we're talking you know 17 to 36 hours for them to become completely back to size um, so and before I go any further I want to show you the, the bill of sale here there it is five hundred eighty one dollars and seventy seven cents so we're talking almost six hundred dollars here Ta you know freak mama Ross said hey take a look at this bed this bed mattress was hanging over the edge of the bed by three inch by the under the edge of, I'm sorry over the edge of the frame by three inches on the side and another two inches off the foot. So needless to say, this mattress was too big because Freak Mama Roth lives in her bedroom. She sits there on her computer and she plays Farkle and these Facebook games all day long. And she's happy. She watches Oprah or whatever's on TV, her soap operas, and she's happy. So she sits on the edge of bed. Now, when it's hanging over that far, you you, you can't do that because you, you're just going to slip right off the damn thing. And she's 70 years old. So that just didn't work. So we called customer service. And we got a hold of um, this gentleman, the manager. We got this bed, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and I said, you got this, like, memory foam type bed that uh, doesn't fit. And, I, and he had me measure it and everything else. And he said, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the manufacturer, have them ship me a new bed. We'll bring it out to you as soon as it comes in. It could take three or four days. So we waited a week. Now, now when we were on this initial phone call, this gentleman never asked me for my name, Frank Mama Roth's name, a ticket number, um, didn't ask me for anything. And I even said to him, I said, hey, do you need my ticket number? Do you need the name that this, this order's under? Nope. I know I know exactly who you are. No problem. Okay. So time goes on. And uh, I called this place, this gentleman back yesterday. Asked him what was going on. And he said, well, I was just getting ready to call you. Of course, they were just getting ready to call. And uh, says, uh, yeah, we uh, we got it. Da, 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 da. We're going to bring it on out. Hung up the phone. Ten minutes later, he calls me back. We have a problem. Oh? Well, you told me it was a memory foam bed. And it's actually a latex foam bed. And da, 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 da. So, uh, and I said, um... Not my fault. Well, you told me, I said, I don't care what I told you. I asked you specifically, do you need my name? Do you need the name on the account? Do you need the ticket order number? You told me no. You knew who I was. 
Well, you told me, I said, you're not blaming this on me. Well, I never said I was blaming it on you. No, but you're fucking implying it. I said, oh, you're right. I was implying it. I apologize. I apologize. I said, I'll tell you what you're going to do. Now, during the, when she bought this bed, she also bought a little computer desk for her computer. And I said, you can come pick up this fucking computer desk. You pick up this new bed. And I want a fucking refund. Well, we can't do that. Excuse me? We don't give refunds for credit cards or cash. You don't give refunds for credit cards or cash. The two easiest ways to give a refund, and you don't give a refund for credit cards and cash. You only give refunds if someone wrote a fucking check. Are you serious? That means that you're willing to take the time to cut me a check if I wrote you a check. But you're not willing to put the money back on the credit card. You're not willing to hand out cash. Are you fucking kidding me? I said, uh, well, we got a problem. We need to figure this out. He says, well, uh, I want to get you a, a, a new mattress and everything. We'll get that taken care of. And I said, okay. So I said to him, and I think this was probably the best question anybody in this situation could have asked. I said, what if, what if, this new mattress comes in and it doesn't fit either. What are you going to do? Because you don't give refunds. Are we going to play recycle the mattress every fucking week? You can't have a policy where you don't give refunds. $100. You can't, you cannot have a policy that says you don't give that money back. That's bad business. Just... It's bad business. Simply put, to say he called me this morning at 10 a.m. Um, 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 I just want to let you know I pulled some strings, and uh, I mean, major brown noser at this point. I just I, we pulled some some strings, and we want you to uh, we want you to know that we got the mattress in, and we're, we'll bring it out to you. Da 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 da. And a problem is solved. The problem here is. That first of all, you don't lay the blame on the customer when the customer tried to solve this problem before it even happened, asking, do you need a ticket number? Do you need a name? The second problem here is you do not not give refunds to a customer that dish, just dished out $600. I don't care if it was 50 cents. I don't care if it was $3,000. You do not not give refunds, especially when the product was never used. As soon as we realized that there was a problem, she slept on the couch for a fucking week. My 70-year-old mother. Needless to say, even though the problem was solved, I'll never shop at this place that sells waterbeds and some other stuff ever, ever again. Just a bunch of bullshit. Thanks for listening. So that about wraps it up for this week's episode of the Video Freak Show. Um, remember, I put up new shows every single week. So uh, be sure to stop in and check it out. Let me know what you think. Oh, and, and you know, for those of you that want to be smart asses, uh, don't be a smart ass. Don't be a fucking hater. Because if you do, I'm going to ban you. Simply put. Just that I'd say. Until, until next week, have a good one.